Let me share with you uh, there's two messages I've been given. The last one is this one I want to share with you. Last week, we, we spoke about forgiveness. And today, we were talking about forgive one another. Today, love one another. That's the message of today. Love one another. If you read John 13, verse 35. John 13, verse 35. Let's read there. John 13, John 13, 13, verse 35. Verse 35. I want to read there. It says, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciple if you have love an unselfish love of one another. Amen. You see that verse? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was shocked to find that on May, I was preaching to you something like this. I was beginning to learn that God has prepared us before before we experience some challenges. Here, Jesus could see the disciples that were worried, disturbed by what he was saying and what he said before on what will come in future. Jesus said, division is not your way. He began to preach love to them. He said, people will know if you have love for one another. Le ratana. Having love le for le one rato, another. If you can see, that verse didn't say Ale ka le vesela ya re. they will know that you are his disciples if you love one another. Ale no, you can still love one another today. Le Tomorrow, le you find it's over. La but the Bible says, if you have love, it means there will be some challenges tomorrow, but we must keep on loving. I don't know if you're hearing that. People will see you at the distance. People will come among you and check if you are the disciples. But what will convince them is love, having love of one another. That is the scripture that is saying there. If you read Matthew 24, you read from 3 to 13, from three to 13, you will see that in the last days, the Bible talks about the love of many will grow cold. Why? Because of persecution, Why? challenges. You know, your Christianity will be challenged. There will be wars, battles. But there will be also things that comes around you to challenge your love. People will look at each other in a wrong way. But the Bible says he endure until to the end will be saved. How can you endure by loving? Your love is going to be tested. If you love, it now means though you are challenged, you still have hope, hope with the people who are really causing you pain. That they will change. Do you know why our love goes down? It's because when we are challenged, we keep the record. 
we normally keep the record of the things we are challenged of. So now, here, Jesus was also speaking to the disciples that there will be persecution. But if you endure loving, you'll be saved. So, listen to this. Tolerance is is your way. You know, when somebody clap you, you ah, come and say, sharp. you know, I didn't know why I clap you. You I still love the person. You change that clap to be a blessing. I don't know if you are hearing me. If someone and insult you and never come to say, I'm sorry, but you still love that person and pray for that person. Can I tell you this? If you say you love, you are taking all your battles to God. God will fight for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So there will be Tamoils. The book of Timothy, it talks about perilous times. There will be challenges. Times. You are going to meet strong temptation. That is there to diminish your love. Your love of prayer will go down. Love of the word will go down. Love of doing things of God. You find that it's going down. Love in the Lord. You find it's going down. From there, you won't tolerate everybody around you. Many of our actions, which I will call them reactions, shows that we are affected and our love is going down. But today, God will give you love that you will love until God shows. Until God shows up. If you read 1 John 4, 8, it says, 1 John 4, 8, it says, the one who does love who, who does not love has not become acquainted with God. In other words, the person has never knew God. He doesn't know that love is coming from God. When, when, when you are challenged in your love, you have been questioned if you know God. Whatever you are facing is there to question if you know God. Remember what happened to, to, to Peter. When Jesus said, you will, you will deny me. Peter said, me, I can rather die with you. Many times to talk is easy. But when challenges come, when temptation comes, we normally deny him. I don't know if you're hearing that. Here it shows that we More need to say chaurin, we rena. know God even when it's tough by carrying on loving one another. Listen, let's not talk about loving God now. Let's talk about loving one another. Because everybody can say I love God. But how can you love God when you are failing to love your brother? I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. So look here. The way you express your love is the way you are determined before God. If you say I love this one we check the reason why you love. If you love because you are getting something, that is not true love. The true love is when you are even feeling pain. When they cause you challenges, you love. You pray for I can tell you, you are the one who can change them. If you fail to love, you are the one who can change them. If you fail to love, 
They will change you. Some characters that we are seeing on people is because they've been changed by the people who are People who don't love you are there so but that they will change them. Can you tell the people, the, the people you don't love are there so that you change them. People you don't love, if you love them, you will change them. If you carry on hating them, they will change you. In other words, you are here to change someone, to create a right atmosphere of showing that you know God. I don't know if you are hearing me. Look here. The moment you are challenged to love. Know that God is also looking if your love is complete. Because the one who's not complete in love, that person you've got fear, torment. I don't know if you're hearing that. The one who's having a complete love can cast out fear. But if you are challenged in love and you find that you are failing to love, fear enters you. Faith leaves you. Check the results around you. You realize that you are a person of fear. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's what I say, my friend. How many people you love? How do you respond to the people who hate you? To the people who are fighting you? This is the time where you can say, I want to love. I don't know if you're hearing me. How many of you are ready to love? How many of you are ready to love? If you are ready to love, are ready to love if you are ready to love Christ is in your life. You, you are a follower of Christ. I don't know if you're hearing me. I want to give you some kind of examples that I've learned. I found that many people we speak against are the people we'll need tomorrow. I just found that, that if you speak about against people, these are the people who have got your solution. You might be misunderstanding them now, but you will need them tomorrow. But if you love everybody, you have got opportunity and you won't struggle to reach them. And it will be easy for you to have access to them. And they are the ones who carry your blessing. Listen, there is no blessing that is new under the earth. Whatever you need is holded by someone. The people you don't want they have your answers. I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't know if you're hearing me. I was learning something like this what I was telling you. When you are sitting very close to someone, when a death because it's like a smell comes, that death, someone can take it for you. Either you smell it or someone take it. Some people who died, they died because of love. They just took what you're supposed to do. And they leave you with a lesson. So that you'll be left loving. I don't know if you're hearing me. Even Jesus, when he went to the cross, he was doing the same. Many of us, we are here today. I'm here to tell you that if we start to love everybody, we will see that everybody around us is important. I don't know if you're hearing me. Tell them everybody around you is important. Love someone. Love someone. Love one another. Listen. Many sickness we are having were caused because we fail to love. 
One day I was sitting, I heard the Holy Spirit say, if you have a grudge with your wife, if you don't solve it now, you are still wasting time of your living. And how many years are you left with? To live on this earth. It's better you rejoice with everyone than you hold grudges. Many of us, we are like that. When someone passes, we When someone passes, we hate. When when we somebody just passed there, oh, we hate. We have got certain people we are associated with. In the church, there is unity. In the church, we are, we are one. In the church, we have got one destiny. If you are in the church where you feel like you are not part of the church, find a church where you are accommodated. And the Holy Spirit needs unity and love. And when you are loving, God will bless you to show love. Because love you cannot show it unless you give. So if you cannot give, you don't have love. But be in a place where you are accommodated, where you are celebrated, where you are needed, where you can love your neighbor. I don't know if, I don't know if you are hearing me. I also say, my friend, do you love one another? Listen, I found that when you love people, you won't have a boundary. There was a time where when people look at me, they say, I was, I was with my wife we were, we were on N1, and then there's this, I'm sure there's a shop there. On N1, where cars goes under. Some people know those who drive. They come and say, are you, are you Congolese? I say, why? Well, he says, no, you're you Congolese. I went to Nigeria. People yeah, greeted me. Okaro, Okaro. I said, what is the meaning of that? Yeah, they they greeted me. Is it, yeah, it's it's Europe. I went to the east. They said, are you not Ibu? I said, what are you saying? I don't understand. This. People will never know who, where do you belong. Remember what the Bible says. If you obey me, I will set you above all nations. Nations will look at you as blessed. But if now you are looking, I don't want Nigerians. I don't want this pastor. I hate that man of God. I hate that one. Even God is not with you. It's only love that can take you far. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you stand up and found seven people? You have never loved. And you say, I want to love you. The Holy Spirit will come. Just go to seven people. Even those you, you know you hate. Say, I'm sorry, I hate you now. I want to love you. Stand up and do it. Let's practice it. Let's practice it. Let's practice it. Let's practice it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come back. If you read Romans 13, verse 10. If you read Romans 13, verse 10. It says, Romans 13, verse 10. Love does not do wrong to a neighbor. Love does not do wrong to a neighbor. It does not hurt anyone. Can you see the verse there? In 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14. 16, 14. Let everything you do, it must be done in love. It must be motivated by love. Because God is love. In 1 Corinthians 16 14. 16, 14. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to this. In everything you do in 1 Corinthians 16.14, whatever you do, it must be motivated by love. As I'm preaching here, it must be the issue of love. Any action you do, it must be motivated by love. Any action you do, it must be motivated by love. 
There's no hatred in love. There's no darkness. There's no issue of suspicion. I don't know if you're hearing me. Everything you do must be motivated because love cannot hurt anyone. If you've got love, you cannot hurt your neighbor. You can't you can hurt your wife. You can't hurt your husband. You can't hurt your children. You can't hurt anybody. I don't know what kind of love are we talking about. I'm talking about the love that has been poured unto our hearts by the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about the love that people are just talking about. You need the Holy Spirit to pour that love in your heart so that you won't gossip, you won't lie, you won't speak against you won't fight one another. Look, how much do you get after you gossip someone? How much do you get after you speak against other people? I don't know if you're hearing that. Some of you, you are wasting time. You are just fighting each other unnecessarily. You have got a chance to make peace together and bring joy in the house. I don't know if you're hearing me. Don't waste time. You don't have more time on it. Don't waste that time. You have got time now to come together as brothers and sisters, you have got time now to come together as, as a family you love one another. Accusations, lies against each other. Why were you born together anyway? Ask somebody, why were you born with other people? You are born so that you stand for each other. I don't know if you are hearing me. In the house of God here, you are here because of that. We are not here to compete. We are here as a family. I don't know if you are hearing me. You are here to help one another. The reason why you are like that is because I'm like this. We can help each other. We can move together. Everything we do must be motivated by love. I mean, sometimes you find that, you know, people, they don't even love each other. And where there's no love, there's no trust. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you ask your neighbor, say, my friend, where are you going to end? Can you stand up again? And you go to someone, maybe you hurt that person. Or maybe you, you don't even talk with that person. And you say, I want to love you. Can you just, can you just do it? Can you do it to seven people? You are breaking the wrong spirit. You are fighting the wrong spirit. You are crushing the wrong when spirit. If you are, you are watching, do the same. Do the same. You. If you are watching, do the same. Yeah. Uh, Can you come and tell me your experience? Who can tell me your experience? Because what you are doing now, when I say go, you just do like this. Because the person you were gossiping with is also looking if you will go there. Now, now they, you know each other so much that the person you have been gossiping with yesterday is looking at you if you will go there. And when you say, can you go, you just do like this. You do like this. You, you are speaking in tongues. Stop speaking in tongues and begin to laugh. Your mistakes is... I don't know if you are hearing me. Look here, I've been preaching for many years here. Did you ever hear me say, whom, whom is not a man of God? I preach Jesus here. I've been called to preach Jesus, not to talk about anybody. You serve before you sleep. You are talking about someone's car. How did he get the money? No, that man is a thief. You are the one who's a thief. You are a thief. Can I tell you this? Today, 
God is changing your heart. I said, God is changing your heart. Look here. Look here. Listen. I was told this thing that you are just shouting. These people are not hearing you. I've been coming here shouting here, screaming here. Hey, receive. Hey, receive. Nothing. How can you receive when you still have people in your heart? How can you receive when you are still competing each other? How can you receive when you are still arguing, fighting, strives, separation, Divisions, lies. This is the time now that you check your records. You leave people. You love everyone. You don't trust anyone. You trust your Jesus. I don't know if you are hearing me. This is the time of loving one another and standing your ground. I don't know if you are hearing me. We are wasting time here. All the time pastors are preaching. Prophets are prophesying. But you are failing to understand that it's only love in you that must reign in you. When someone does come and say, God has blessed me, you are angry. When someone say, okay, I've seen this in my work, it's a problem to you. A progress of others is a shame to you. This is the time of rejoicing when someone rejoices. This is the time of loving other people and you pray for them and you stand for the gap for them and God of mercy will never leave you. I don't know if you are hearing me. I'm giving you last chance. I'm giving you last chance. You need to love one another. I'm not talking about love uh, you are talking about brother because some, I saw some brothers they are going to sisters I, I, I have noticed you what you are doing can you stop that I'm talking about love in the Lord I'm not talking about sister to be honest, what Pastor is saying. It has been happening for me two years. You got chance now. No, stop that nonsense. I'm talking about loving people, loving one another. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen, if you read First Corinthians 13, just go and read a special verse 5 and 6 there. You realize that love itself does not count even it hides sin. You are on one another. Strength. If I cannot capitalize on someone's mistake, I don't know if you are hearing me. I cannot listen. Can I tell you this? There are places that when I go, when I reach there, if I'm preaching, when I found that. There's a church of a pastor there. And that pastor is attending my meeting. I could understand his weakness. But I cannot plant my church when he's there. Love, you know what it does? It covers up the multitude of sin. The weakness we are having, we cancel it, we stand together to conquer. Many of us, we are checking on other people's weakness. We, we use them than to help them to overcome their weaknesses. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. I've been doing that. If I reach a place and I'm doing crusade there, when I find the pastor is there, I would love to bring that pastor to speak with him. Brother, you can carry on. You can carry on. These are the people of God. This is a man of God. Carry on. I don't know if you're hearing me. On the other side, Pastor, Pastor come this side. Please. There's this mistake you are doing. Two, one, two, three. You will make it. We have got this 
army, if we are united in love, we can be a great army, like we are here in Charis, if we are united and we love one another here, nothing can stop us here, it's love that makes us an army, it's not ideas or our own principles, it's love one another, I don't know if you are hearing me, this is the time that when you see your brother doing something and if you have got ability to do something you do it, you help without getting money from them this is the time now of showing love when you reach a place they are doing something, they can't do it do it for them, love them Pray for them. Don't take advantage of other people in a wrong way. Love them. And God will give you more. In every level, there is another level to go for. If you love and practice that love, I'm here to tell you there's no limit that will block you. I said there's no limit that will block you. You know, when I was told about this message of love, I was looking around, I said, truly, what the Bible was saying, that those who are overtaken in trespasses, it says, you are spiritual, mature, restore that one, so that you must not be tempted, like they were tempted, in a right way, restore them in a right way, if you read that verse, it talks about people who love, because people who love are matured, are spiritually matured, when they see other people falling, they don't capitalize on them, they take them aside, and speak sense to them, and restore them in love, not in a wrong way, of trying to prove that they are failures, they are useless, they are going nowhere. Everybody is having a mistake. When we are together, the mistakes will be corrected. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell us, my friend, you have your mistakes. Your mistakes need my mistakes. Your mistakes need my mistakes. Because you need me, I need you. Your mistakes need me, and my mistakes need you. Because we need each other. You can do that by love. Listen. Can I tell you this? If you love, you won't sin. If you love, you won't sin. I'll give you an example. If someone comes and insults you, do whatever. Love in you will humble you. You, you won't respond. You Say, ah, I don't understand. I don't understand, but I love this The person. love will just cool you down. You know, love is there to comfort you. When you have love, you are stupid. You are going nowhere. You begin to say, No, this person loves me. Because this person is correcting me. It might be correcting me in a wrong way. I must love this person, but I must call down. If I'm right, I will prove this person in the right way. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. Prove your enemies wrong now. You still have time. Prove your enemies wrong. Amen. It's time to prove your enemy wrong. They are looking at you. Prove them wrong. Do what is right. I said, do what is right. I said, do what is right. I said, do what is right. Are you ready to do what is right? Can you stand up? I'm giving you the last assignment. Can you go to someone? You feel like when you look at this person, Grudges, oh, you don't understand. Or oh. oh, a person, you, when you look, you feel like I, I cannot even speak with this. People like, you know, this ugly fellow. With a big nose, I can finish oxygen. So, let me go. Can you go find two or three people? Go say, hey, hey, I, I want to love you. Can you just move forward then and say it?
and hug that person. Hey, don't hug before you talk. Talk first. Love reigns. Love reigns. Love reigns. When the oceans roar and thunders roar, I will sow with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still and know you. tell you what makes me to prosper until now King is love. Just love. Just love. I don't care who says what about me. I'm born in a village called Madumbija. It's people of Madumbija who can say we know this boy. I, I don't care who says what. Out of the village God changed my heart. There's nothing again. In that village, my forefathers were buried there. The warriors buried there. Where are they now? So it's useless for me to prove to you that I'm better than you. I've got an opportunity to love than to hate, than to prove myself, than to be better than anybody. Whether you do that, you can't reach even 100 years. How many years you are left to reach 100? Many times you can't even reach 60. You have got opportunity now. Crush everything. You love everybody. If you do that, I can tell you, you will live the life that God wants you to live.